Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial video on how to use the PS3 controller or not use the PS3 controller basically how to uh, enable this controller so that it's gonna be usable for your PC so this is a PlayStation 3 controller this is what I'm gonna be doing first Alright, so first you need this. And then you need the USB. As you can see, my USB cable from my PlayStation, PlayStation 3 is quite long. So, <laughs> I guess I'll use this. So first, you wanna. I'm gonna be doing the wired version not the wireless so you know that's you're gonna need a Bluetooth for that but this is gonna be the wired tutorial so first you wanna plug this in here and then you plug the other end on the computer and then you plug this other end here I don't know if I want to use that, I'll probably use this. I'll go ahead and use this one, the last one. There we go. So far right now it's not really doing anything, so... I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, I'm gonna go to the control panel first. And then see what that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, device and printers. So we're gonna see if this is functioning right now. See, here's the PlayStation 3 controller that I plugged in on the USB. But this one's not working right now, so right click, game controller settings, and go to properties. So right now it's not registering. Not responding so what we're gonna do is uh, install the drivers and the <clears throat> they call that and the you know just so it'll work on your PC first I'm gonna open up Opera GX so I already open up the the files that you're gonna need I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video so you can download the these files so it's easier so first I'm gonna download this one called scpds driver package 1.2.0.160 so I'm gonna hit download close that so it should be downloaded and then you click the folder and then it's right here so what we're gonna do is uh see I'm gonna create another folder for that so that's all in one place right click new folder and I'm gonna type in ps3 drivers then or ps3 controller drivers Controller drivers. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag this in there so that it's organized. Double click that, and then what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, yeah, it's in a folder. Okay, so I'm gonna right click this and then extract here. So there you go, and then go ahead and delete this. So this is SCP server that we're gonna need. So, and then what we're gonna do next is uh, download another folder, I mean another file called, so go ahead and close this one. This one is the second one, which is the SCPDS driver package 1.2.2.175. This is the update, which is the newer version, I guess the latest version of SCP. I'm gonna click that and download that as well. So it should be on 
click here and it's, it's right here so what we're gonna do is drag that also in the controller device that is update also drag that one there oh wait go ahead and close that all right so now that that's there also gonna right click on this one and then extract here extract but it's the same name so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do go ahead and close this so the next thing what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to the folder the C folder this PC and then I'm gonna go right here to Windows C double click and then go to program files so we're gonna create a folder called uh... alright so what we're gonna do now so I'm gonna leave this folder and this this file right here open this is the program files so we're gonna create a new folder here you can either click on this one right here or you can right click here and then click new folder and we're gonna name it scarlet that crush space productions so that's the name the where we're gonna put the stuff double click on that and then we're gonna drag some stuff there in a bit so this is this first one right here. I'm gonna rename this uh, SCP DS driver package 160. That's the. So what I'm gonna do is uh, basically we're gonna extract this one to extract here. This is the one, the, the 175 update. So I'm gonna name that. Well, so what we need is to go to go to this update. This is the 175. So you, you know, I might as well rename. You don't really have to rename it, but it'll make it more sense if I. That way you can tell them apart. So this is the 175 update. Delete this. So what we're going to do is go in here and then what we need to do is drag this bin file into the 160 one. Drag it on here. So we're going to open another file folder. Go to downloads. Go to PS3 controller driver. So what we're going to do is go to the 160. And then we're going to open up the, the 175 here. We're going to drag this update and drag it into the 160 replace the files in the destination okay yeah and then this should be empty so now we don't have to worry about that delete this and then close that and then what we're gonna do is uh, go back so this is basically the SCP server that we need. It's already, you know, given to us like that. So what we're gonna do is drag it, drag it here. Bin SCP driver. Okay, I'm just trying to check source. So we gotta drag this. I'm gonna name it back to SCP server. We're gonna drag this into the Scarlet Productions and then press continue. Once that's done, close this. 
Uh, and then what we're gonna do is go inside that and then go to the bit. So we're gonna look at the folders that we need to install. SCP server, I'm just checking. Alright, go to bin and then we're gonna look at the f files that we need to, you know, to use. So it's gonna be the SCP driver right here, application. That's basically the .exe, but, and also SCP monitor. Those are the ones that we're, we're gonna need. So what you want to do is right click on SCP driver, right click, and then run as administrator, click yes, and then this should pop up this window, close that, okay, let's, okay, and then this thing, this says SCP driver installer 1.2.2.175, select default configuration so since we're gonna be doing the wired version we're, we're gonna unselect or uncheck the Bluetooth driver right here I'm not doing the Bluetooth because I'm not uh, I'll probably do that in, in another video but that's a separate thing so we're just gonna leave that and check and we're gonna configure service so everything else is the way it's supposed to and then we're gonna click install So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. Install. And now it's detecting the controller. See? It's basically setting this up as an Xbox 360 controller, which is on the bottom right right here. And once you've done that, install summary, blah blah blah. So what we're gonna do now is go to, now it's device is ready, so it should be good. We're gonna go back to control panel. Go here and type search bar and type in control panel. So basically we're gonna check if the controller works and then go to hardware, sound, device, and printers. Go ahead and exit this. So basically what happened was it installed the driver installed the driver that will enable us to use this so as you can see the thing changed in, all the lights were lighting up all four of them or yeah and then now it's just lighting up one so what we're gonna do is click exit here we're gonna go to playstation 3 controller and it also has this now available right click on this Go to game controller settings, go to properties, and as you can see, it's not working. You can check out all, all the buttons. It's detecting the D pad, start, select. So now you can pretty much play games using this. And if you close this, also this you can also go to the Xbox 360 controller win for Windows right click go to game controller settings and go to properties it's also detecting this as the Xbox 360 controller oh, that's great so now you can use your PlayStation 3 controller on your PC that's simple yeah. Alright, so close that, close this, and then if you guys want to like see what goes on, you just go to monitor right here. I think I right click on that, right click on SCP monitor, run as administrator, I guess, and then what's gonna happen though is you're seeing what it's doing right now, see? The activity of this gamepad, which is pad one right here. Post address disconnect. So right now it's doing something like charging. So it's communicating with the basically the USB is communicating with your computer. So it's it's right now it says it's charging, so that's what it's doing. So that's why and then disconnected, disconnected. I guess you know you can add more, but this I only have one, so 
Make sure you your your USB is plugged into your computer for this to work, or else it won't work. So this only enables you to monitor. Basically, that's what it does. So I think it's fully charged. That's why it's no longer. Go ahead and close that. And basically, you know, just you just go back here, or if you want to. You can basically pin this, right click on it and then click pin to start if you want or you can create a shortcut. And then it'll, you can click shortcut, it'll pin it on the, the front, your desk, desktop so you can check it, but I'm not going to do that. So, I basically just look at controller. So babe, that's it. That's how you enable your controller, PS3 controller to work on your PC. So like I said, just check the description in the bottom to download those files that I showed. So, alright. Later.